Hi everybody, Scott Cart here. Uh, welcome back to my bench. And today I have for you some uh, tools that I bought uh, and that are available on my website. So uh, feel free uh, to check it out. If, uh, if these turn out to be good, they'll still be on my website. If not, um, yeah, I'll give everybody a warning why not to buy them. And we'll, uh, we'll deal with that. We'll take it off the web store. All right. If you do like this type of video, uh, please do uh, remember to like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell if you'd like to be made aware when more videos come up. All right. All right, well, welcome back. So, uh, fresh off the boat from China, we have uh, a couple of components, or a couple of tools. Uh, these are uh, everyday tools that everybody should have. Everybody should have themselves a soldering iron and a, uh, and a, and a solder sucker. So being able to solder and remove material uh is is very important obviously uh to do any real uh bench work if you want to do any soldering or or anything past the breadboard so um the caveats on this are i was looking for tools that i could put onto my website uh that uh are relatively inexpensive but yet will meet my criteria for uh for usable tool so that's uh that said i mean obviously i i i use my tools uh professionally so i do have a little bit higher quality than uh these maybe but uh there there is going to be a minimum uh criteria that that i will find acceptable okay so the first thing is the soldering iron let's take a look at that So, uh, why did I pick this soldering iron? One is uh, that it does have an adjustable uh, temperature on it, or at least it's supposed to. We'll check that out and see how accurate it is and how well it maintains uh, temperature. Uh, we do have 120 volts. This is supposed to be an 80 watt unit, so there's lots of lots of power. We can get uh, replacement tips for it. Okay, so that seems uh, reasonable. The the heater on this is replaceable, apparently. Let's see. All right. Definitely, maybe. Okay. Well, we won't tear it all the way down today, but we will. Uh, we will take a look at it a little bit more in depth uh, before before we're uh, done finished. Uh, but there are replacement tips available, which is fantastic. It's that was uh, a minimum criteria that I had, and we'll see how well uh, it heats up, what temperature it gets to, and we'll actually give it a little soldering test here to see um, how it fares compared to um, my Weller. Okay, so uh, the first thing that I notice uh, that. A good thing is they actually do have the North American plug, so the line and neutral are uh, properly. Uh, well, I don't know if they're proper, but they're they're definitely uh, a proper North American plug. Okay, so it defaults to three fifty. That's a little bit hot. I see it only has five degree Celsius increments, but that's okay. Bring it down here. All right, so it's heating up fairly quick. Let's. Uh, Let's pull the plug on that for a second and make sure that uh, I do have the tip in here properly. I noticed that the um, the inexpensive unit, uh, which is what I purchased, it didn't. They didn't. Uh, I didn't get the the multiple tips and the um, the stand because I do have a stand. I didn't really need that. Kind of surprised that doesn't fit all the way up. Just cool that down. It does heat up rather quickly, which is good. So there's lots of power there. Let me grab my uh, thermal pro probe here, and we can kind of do a side by side. Let me uh, let's start with the uh, with my Weller, 
And so we're going to see how well it does it. So it's set for 330. And let's give it a shot. Ready, steady, go. Okay, so the uh, the base unit thinks that it's at 330. Uh, my thermocouple is saying more like uh, 230, which is interesting, but we'll call it uh, what it is. Okay, so we'll put this back together. And we'll give it a go. Ready, steady, go. It's good that it maintains uh, memory of, of uh, the temperature. Okay, so there you go. Uh, whether the 330 is close or not, uh, I would say it's probably better than my Weller right now. So we'll call that uh, we'll call that reasonable. Let's see uh, how we uh, how it smokes. Definitely hot enough. Okay, I'm happy with that. And why don't we uh, why don't we try doing a little bit of soldering here? I would say that that's just a okay. I'm okay with uh, with what I'm seeing. Uh, so the next thing is uh, my uh, choice for a, a solder sucker. So uh, being able to remove solder when you make a mistake is always good. Uh, and I was kind of not impressed with uh, the price on uh, some of the some of the uh, some of the units that I've seen on. Uh, on places like Amazon and thought, well, they, they were charging just way too much money for what it is. And uh, to be honest with you, these these uh, can be reasonably inexpensive. They don't have to be super high quality, but there are certain things that you're looking for. And this one, uh, so my mine is, is aluminum. This one feels like it's all plastic, but we'll take a look here. All right. So nice to see that we do have an O-ring on here. Uh, the way that these work is uh, basically the plunger pulls down inside the syringe. Uh, the the spring here is tensioned, and when you when you release the the uh, trigger, it pulls back and it, it creates a vacuum in the front and it pulls the solder back. And uh, what you'll see quite often is. Um, I'll try not to get a huge mess here. So this one you can see is is a little bit more substantial. It's got uh, two O-rings uh, instead of the one. Uh, the plug is quite a bit larger, and uh, the spring is is a little bit heavier. So um, you know, so far with the with the build quality, uh, I, I I see why there's there's a cost difference. And uh, so, so if you do want to get a higher quality unit, uh, that's fine. Just be careful that you do actually get what you pay for. That it's not just a higher cost because. Uh, so not a replaceable tip on this, which at this kind of cost, it, that that's acceptable. Uh, this is aluminum. Uh, yeah. Uh, it is aluminum, but it's really light gauge. So far, yeah, not overly impressed. I mean, this pin wants to be about the same size as the as the hole, so when you press it down, it should actually 
uh, clear all of the all of the material uh, in the tip because this will sometimes get uh, clogged up. So it, I mean, it's not horrible, but I would like to see that a little bit larger. But let's give it a try. We'll, uh, you know, not expecting to see this last uh, for as many years as the uh, as the advent, but you know. If you're just getting started out, and these are basically disposable. So, all right. So it's cocked, and we press the button, and it will plunge her up. We'll give it a static test here. Okay. So the O-ring does work, and let's uh, let's give it the try. Okay. Oh, it works. All right. Well, I'll call that a success. As you can see, we can fit our our wire into the holes. We would be good if we had to replace a component there. So, uh, yay or nay? Um, yes, as long as you understand that it's disposable. I think I'll keep this on the website. Uh, just because it's so cheap, um, I don't make any money off this, but you know, I want to provide something to you guys. So that one, yeah, this, I, I'm impressed with this. Uh, I think I'll order some extra tips, uh, have them around. I do have a holder, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's double check. So yeah, that works. Uh, so yeah, that's a nice little backup iron. Um, I like the temperature control as opposed to my Weller, which didn't. So this old beast is my uh, my solder iron that I would take around to uh, and well, I'd keep it in my my uh, toolkit. But uh, you know, it's the temperature control on it's kind of gone for for uh, crap, and it uh, tends to tends to tear up the. Uh, tips pretty good um yeah i'll have to work at getting that off later but uh yeah i mean this 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 weller it, it did me for about 30 years so it's, it doesn't owe me anything um but yeah i i'm i'm really impressed with this i'm quite satisfied this one this one i'm definitely going to give a thumbs up to um i do like it and if uh, it's something that you'd like uh, I check out the link below. I uh, I would love to to uh, be able to provide you something uh, if you want to look around and find it somewhere else. Uh, if you can get a better price, then bless you, go for it. Uh, let me know if you do find a better price. I'll try to do some price matching. Uh, but uh, yeah, all in all, a uh, successful day. Uh, I do have more more stuff coming from uh, China that's on my website. All right, so if you haven't checked out the website, uh, it's linked in down below. Uh, it's in, uh, northshore-innovation.ca. Uh, and uh, yeah, again, you know, the idea is that uh, I, I want to provide to you uh, materials to help you set up your bench, uh, create uh, some some uh, small projects for you to solder up and do, do some work on. Uh, this one I'll have a video on uh, shortly. This is a development kit. As always, thanks for your attention. Uh, you, your your patronage is absolutely appreciated. And uh, have yourself a great day. All right. Bye now.